Like many of its trains, NJ Transit's running late installing Positive Train Control, or PTC, an automatic braking safety system that investigators say might have prevented tragedies like the Hoboken train crash and other rail accidents. While NJ Transit's PTC compliance has improved a bit lately, it's still in danger of missing a federal deadline. According to the FRA, or Federal Railroad Administration, riders are running out of patience. We pay so much to commute daily, and the positive train control is just really vital for everyone's safety. I don't understand what the holdup is. Well, I think they should have put it into effect a long time ago. It's more than time to get it done. The last three months were like a racehorse coming up at the end of the stretch and we're working closely with Amtrak and uh, FRA to make sure that we will be uh, compliant. That's what NJ Transit's new exec told the Senate Budget Committee in Trenton on May 1st. This week, the FRA released PTC compliance figures that show NJ Transit had installed PTC in only 35 out of 440 locomotives and cab cars through the end of March, built 37 of 124 radio towers, trained 172 of 1,100 employees, and implemented PTC on zero of 300 26 miles of track. Compare that to these brand new year-to-date figures just offered by NJ Transit showing it's picked up the pace of PTC installation with more cars and radio towers outfitted and more staff trained. The agency says it's battling logistics on a complex railway. I'm not going to tell you that we're going to get 440 cars done you know by October but until we made room in the yards it was really difficult for us to get cars in to outfit them for PTC. NJ Transit announced it's reducing service on 18 trains to expedite installation and meet the December 31st deadline. To request a final extension to 2020, NJT would need to meet strict requirements like getting PTC installed on 100% of its hardware. Currently, it's at 13% among the nation's worst records for compliance and may request special consideration by the FRA under so-called alternative criteria that if you're one car below that or a few other things, there's some variations, that as long as you have a clear path through being 100% compliant and up and running full, fully by 2020 deadline, uh, that they can work with you. So we are studying that option as well. But rioters don't want to hear about extensions. No more extensions. They've gotten enough extensions. Definitely. Why? We need to save lives. Amtrak has warned New Jersey Transit that if it doesn't get PTC installed on deadline, it won't let the agency use its tracks, including those that run under the Hudson to Penn Station. At Newark Penn Station, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.